If he hit it over the wall, it would have just been another accomplishment. What made it different was he pointed at the wall. Well, that's what I was out to do then. And it was risky. Billy Mitchell, video game player of the century. It's rather simple if you want to get a perfect game. You walk up, you put your quarter in, you press start, you eat every dot, you eat every prize, every energizer, and on every energizer you got to get all four guys every time. If you miss a guy, you're done. If you miss a prize, you're done. You miss anything, you're done. You die one time, you're done. Just to give you an idea, watch how fast they turn back. And you gotta get all four. 256 boards over many, many hours. Never dying once, never missing a point. They had all kinds of people, oh, you can't do it. Oh, no one's ever done that. There's no way you can do that. Bet you can't. I'd say don't bet your life. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just showing off here. Bill Mitchell is the Jerry Rice or the Michael Jordan of all the video game players. Man, he's, he's phenomenal. Very loud, very outspoken, very confrontational. And one of the lines he would always say to me is, Steve, when I met you, I was but the learner. But now I am the master. And I turned around, I stopped playing for a moment, and I looked at Bill Mitchell and I said, fuck you, Bill Mitchell, fuck you. Mr. Nakamura, who's the father of Pac-Man, he presented me with an award for Pac-Man for having done the world's first perfect game. So sometimes when I'm with someone, oh, you think you know more about the games than the people who made them? Uh, yeah, they told me I do. It's a very interesting experience to see the whole video game hobby become so big that they're now stars like building. I'd be lying to you if I told you it wasn't fun. I'd be lying to you if I told you I didn't enjoy it. Look at him. He sticks out like a sore thumb. He's got, uh, what is this? What do they call that? That, that hairdo. Business up front, party in the back. He has this hairdo like a country western singer. What do they call those? Short on top and long in back? Uh, uh, that's a mullet. A mullet? It's called a mullet. The mullet. 